Speeches, warnings, and calls to action. That has the gun debate right in front of all of us tonight. It is something we want to take a closer look at, particularly the question of arming our teachers. Now, it's something the president talked about last night and then tweeted about four times this morning. So it's something that's getting some serious discussion. Sure is. Joining your side's Heather Lee starts our coverage tonight with a look at where the discussion stands right here in New York State. The head of the Buffalo Teachers Federation calls the idea of armed teachers in classrooms insane. This is not the old wild west where you're going to have shootouts. What we have to do is to deal with the situation and prevent it. Phil Rumore instead stressed a need for more armed safety or school resource officers. Today, the State Sheriff's Association called for the same thing. The group's president said the state should fund one armed officer in every school as part of the state budget for this upcoming fiscal year. Congressman Tom Reed echoed that, saying in a statement, quote, I have introduced legislation in the past and support putting local school districts in a better position to access school resource officers. These resource officers would be armed, trained, and best equipped to be in charge of the safety of our children. He went on to say that's only one tactic for addressing school violence. Rumor said protecting schools and students also comes down to increasing other staff that are highly trained to identify problems and defuse situations before they become violent. What we need is more social workers, school, school psychologists, um, school counselors, we need to be able to identify the students that are having these emotional problems and working with them and their families to alleviate those problems. That's how you solve this, not by having a gunfight at the OK Corral. Republican Congressman Chris Collins said allowing teachers to carry guns makes a lot of sense if they're properly trained and certified. I think they would need to go through specialized training and not simply uh, go through what's required to get a pistol permit concealed carry pistol permit New York, which does not require proficiency. This afternoon, Congressman Brian Higgins, who is a member of the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force, sent over a statement which said that teachers should be armed with resources, not guns. Safety in our schools and communities is not the responsibility of educators. And Scott Mary, Mary Alice, that seems to be a lot of what I was hearing from mm -hmm. teachers and parents, both on social media and uh, those I'm just talking to in the community. Heather, it seems like a lot of people are in favor of resource officers, but that does in and of itself come with a heavy price as well. It sure does. You're talking about uh, safety or excuse me, salary and benefits. It's anywhere from 75 to $100,000 a year for those. And consider this, there are more than 6,700 public and private schools all across the state. So you do the math there. Supporters of this say that really there shouldn't be a price tag exactly. when it comes to safety. But voters, you know, go mm -hmm. to the polls and they vote on budgets. And a lot of times those will get voted down. Yeah, mm -hmm. be interesting to see how it all plays out. Heather, thank you. Appreciate it.